divine feminine in all of her aspects. And it also um, can, it's said to be able to remove obstacles, generate protection, and increase, raise your, your power and energy. This is a very powerful chant. Um, the, the song has, well, it has three parts. And mostly we're going to be dancing A and B, and the third part is just the ending. Um, so for the first part, Hema Durga, um, the rhythm is slow, 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 quick, quick. And the way that um, we get into the rhythm, because uh, each part A and B has a bit of an abrupt transition, so that I've made in the dance a way to make the, the transitions. So to get into the rhythm, we're just going to the left and to the right. So we'll slow, side, together, side, quick, quick, side, together, side, quick, quick. And we do that twice, side, and that just helps us to get our bodies into the, the rhythm of the first part. After we've done that twice, then we'll, we'll start start the dance. So we're still on part A. That's the intro to part A. And now I'm doing a string of pearls step to the right. I'm crossing over with the left. The short grapevine, cross and cross. Those are the three steps and the slow steps and then quick, quick. And then reverse it, crossing behind. Cross and cross. Quick, quick. Cross and cross, quick, quick, cross, and cross, quick, quick. And the handhold that I like to do with this is uh, the right hand on the solar plexus and the left hand on the lower back. And um, this is very grounding. So we go cross and cross, quick, quick, cross, and cross, quick, quick. So that carries on um, as the Hema Durga part of the chant repeats several times. And then there's a fairly abrupt change in the music and change in the tempo. And when that happens, we're just going to uh, do, do a side touch, side touch, side touch, side touch. Four of those, again, to help change the rhythm in our body to adjust for the second part of the dance. And for the second part, now we're going to do a diamond step on the floor. I'm going crossing out, stepping out to the right with my right foot, right to the touch, stepping in to the left with my left foot, in, touch. Now to get the third diamond point, I'm going to cross behind with my right, going out to the left, behind, touch. And to get the final diamond point, I'm going to go out and to the right with my left foot, behind, touch. So going in with the right, we go right, touch, left, touch, right behind, touch, left behind, touch, forming a, a diamond pattern on the floor. And as we're doing that, I invite you to cycle the arms so that for the first touch, the arms are about here. Second touch, all the way up in temple. Third touch, down to prayer position. And fourth, we release the hands. If you're not comfortable with doing all of that while you're also doing the feet, you can just simply hold the prayer position uh, throughout the diamond. But I invite you to also cycle the arms and cycle the energy. So it looks like this. In, touch, in, touch, back to the left. Touch, back to the right, touch, in, touch, in, touch, back to the left, back to the right. Okay? So that will repeat uh, during the second part of the chant, which is uh, Mahalakshmi is what's being sung. So we will do the cycle of the, the music is we repeat part A for a while, and then when the music changes, we have the transition 
four step touches in place to get the rhythm in our bodies, and then we do the diamond, and we'll do part B for a while. And then we go back to A, again doing the little side steps to get the rhythm in our bodies, two, two of those, and then we repeat B. And the ending is, um, is quite slow and gentle, so the music uh, calms down and slows down, and we're just going to join in with the music whenever you like uh, with a grapevine and two lips with hands in prayer position. So we go side, cross, side, behind, side, lift, side. And just carry on with that as the music comes to a close. Grapevine and two side steps. I think I'm not going to show that in this video. It's very simple. It's just, just after the second time through part B, um, the music will change again, and you can just join in with the, the rhythm uh, uh, with a grapevine and two lips. But I think for this video, I'm going to show you all of part A and all of part B. Tristan Lunaray, enjoy. 